Right, good morning, welcome back. Now, I said in a previous video, this is not gonna be a long-term project. I'm not gonna rip it all apart and restore it, and indeed, I'm not. Once again, this is just a bike of a certain age. It's reached that point where it needs a few consumables replaced, it needed a good service, and I wanted to do a few little upgrades just for myself. And then, I'm just gonna ride it and enjoy it for the summer. Anyway, today, GSX 1400 chain and sprock exchange. Let's go. Front sprocket nuts, eh? How many times do you psych yourself up for a big fight to get them off? They should be 115 newton meters. I've had to put heat on them in the past and stand on the end of a six foot bar to get them to break. But that one, practically finger loose. And that's the factory chain and sprockets. Go figure. Anyway, I'm not unhappy, it came undone easy. Easy day.
588. Right, fitting a DID chain here on this is a 530 VX and the advice on the DID website is that on the compression link you spread the end of the compression pins out to a width between 5.7 and 6 mil. It gives you a little bit of range. So I've spread them to 5.88 which I think is about right. I don't like to spread them right out to 6 mil because just once I've seen the end of one of these pins just crack where it was flared a bit too far. So personally they are more than spread enough at 5.88. Happy days. Right now whilst the padded jack handle through the swing arm and wheel to lock the wheel solid is a wonderful nugget of wisdom. There's loads of you right now going, oh that's handy, I'll remember that, but please if you've got wire spokes don't do it. Only on these big fat three bar spokes that are strong. On wire spokes you'll break them clean off. Ask me how I know. Right, there we go, chain of sprockets, all buttoned up, everything torqued down tight. I just want to leave the cover and the crash bar off until next week because I want to get to this rubber clutch hose. I'm going to strip the original clutch hose out and feed a new one through. That ain't an easy task and then plumb it up and then I can fit all that stuff back on. But for tomorrow, I've got something a little bit special. We're going to have a field trip to Lucky Foot Trimming to deal with that seat. I'll see you then.